made my, did I talk yet? Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and in today's video I'm going to be sharing a day in the life with you guys. So I like to do these just to bring you guys along with me to show you my daily routine. Sometimes on eventful days, sometimes uneventful days. Today is probably going to be more of an uneventful day and just a normal type of day for me. So anyway, it is a Tuesday morning. I have been struggling to wake up but I finally got up and got up to come cuddle the dogs. So I start every single one of these videos with cuddling them but that's just how I like to start my day. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay with Pluto for a little. He actually started limping yesterday in the morning out of nowhere, and so we've been keeping an eye on him. He's not in any pain or anything, but he is just having trouble using one of his paws, and so we're gonna keep an eye on him, and I'm probably gonna be doing that most of the day today, but I think he'll be fine when I go to the gym. I've got the gate up so he can't use the stairs, and I think that they'll be good. Anyway, if you guys enjoy this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have pretty much been laying in bed for the past 20 minutes debating whether or not I was going to get up and go to the gym. Just because we are about to get a snowstorm. It's actually started. You can't really see, but it has started. And we just keep getting warnings that the roads are going to be bad. But I'm thinking I can go to the gym and come back and then be fine. So hopefully. I'm going to go check out his outside, but if I do go to the gym, I just have a back day today and that's my plan. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the bathroom and get ready. So I am running so behind for my normal Tuesday morning, but honestly, it's not a huge deal because I don't have anything time specific today that I have to really do. So as long as I get everything done that I need to, it doesn't really matter the time. But anyway, I'm packing up my gym bag right now. So I'm gonna eat this when I get there. I just feel like I can't eat it right now. My stomach is like growling and I'm hungry, but sometimes when I first wake up, it just takes me a little bit to be able to eat. So usually I like to either eat this in the car or right when I get there. So I just have one of these Blake's seed-based crispy bars. It's four points on Weight Watchers and it's got like 100 calories for one. So I'm just gonna put this in my gym bag. I've got my water here that I'm just gonna fill up really quick. And I'm not gonna drink any pre-workout today just because I'm already planning on having a coffee when I get home. So because I'm just doing a short workout, it's not a leg day or anything, it's gonna be a quick one. And I just, I'm not gonna have pre-workout. But I will have a coffee right when I get home. I've actually been pretty consistent with having my protein coffees again. And I find that they just really keep me full throughout the day. So I've got my bag all packed up. I went ahead and started my car, but now I have to go clean it off because it's been snowing. And then I'm gonna go ahead to the gym and do a back day. And then I'm gonna head to the gym and do a quick back workout. I might do some walking and abs, but again, that's always something that I just kind of play by ear when it comes to upper body workouts. So I'll bring you guys with me.
so I just got done at the gym. I had a good workout. It was not busy at all. There were like 10 other people when I walked in and it pretty much stayed that way for the first at least hour that I was there. And then I just did some walking on the treadmill at an incline. So it was a really nice workout and it was nice to pretty much have the gym to myself. It felt nice, but got a good workout in. And now I'm about to head into Jewel because Tomorrow we are going over to our niece and nephew's house. We are super late on celebrating Christmas. They actually had gotten sick when we were gonna go over there. So we're doing a late Christmas celebration and I'm gonna make a cookie cake for dessert. So I'm not doing a Christmas themed one. I asked them if there's any characters that they like at the moment and they said Mario and Peach. So I'm gonna do some type of like Mario and Peach cookie cake, but I need the ingredients. I don't know if I'm gonna decorate it today, but I'm definitely gonna get it baked. So I'm gonna go grab some stuff for that and maybe pick up something for dinner. I've still been craving shrimp a lot. I don't know why I'm just going through like a shrimp kick where I've been wanting like shrimp pasta and I made us a shrimp Cajun pasta the other day that was really good so I might do something similar to that again but I'm gonna go see what they have in there and get the stuff that I need for the cookie cake. Okay, so they didn't have the shrimp that I was looking for, but I ended up getting chicken sausage and I'm gonna do a pasta instead, but the snow is definitely coming down now. So I'm gonna get home and figure out breakfast. Okay, so I'm back home now pretty much for the day. I don't really have to go anywhere else, which is good because the snow just started coming down and it was crazy how the gym was not busy at all because I think everyone was expecting to wake up to a bunch of snow and we just didn't have much. So I think a lot of people were coming a little bit later because as I was leaving, it was getting much busier. But now the snow is actually coming down. It was just kind of like rain when I left this morning for the gym but it is like giant flakes and it is actually sticking to the ground. So hopefully maybe we can go sledding in the next couple days if we get enough snow, but I don't plan on driving anywhere else today. Adam's at work, but he'll be home for dinner. Hopefully it's not too bad. And sometimes he can even just leave work a little bit earlier if he needs to. So he'll do that if the roads are bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some breakfast right now. I actually don't even know what I'm gonna make. I'm about to look in the fridge, but something with eggs probably. I'll probably scramble up some eggs and have that. And then I did get stuff for dinner, so we'll probably just do some type of chicken sausage pasta with asparagus. Those are the three things I bought, and so I'll figure something out with that. But anyway, I'm gonna make my breakfast and probably a coffee. I just make the protein coffee with an espresso pod and a Quest salted caramel protein shake and a scoop of chocolate collagen, but I'll probably make that so I can drink it after I eat my breakfast. And I'm I'm just going to be editing my video for YouTube that I'm going to be posting later today. So that's the main thing I have to get done is editing. I also have to make the cookie cake. So I'm going to come down and do that. And I'll probably just make the buttercream now so that it's ready. And then the last thing that I have to work on today is I need to get some crocheting done because I'm crocheting a gift for my mom for her birthday. I don't know if I'm going to show it yet because I don't know if I'll be posting this before I see her for her birthday. I need to figure that out. But if I don't, I will show what I'm working on. But I'm crocheting her a little gift. So I need to work on that today because her birthday is in a week and those are just the main things that I have to get done today. So it's kind of a busy day but also low-key I'm just going to be hanging out at home and that is pretty much my plan. So I'm going to get started on some breakfast. Okay, so I went ahead and made my breakfast. It is definitely a high point breakfast for me. This is 10 points total. The eggs are actually zero. So I was craving bagels and cream cheese the other day. So we got some from the store. There's seven points for one bagel and I went ahead and made a full bagel. Then I used two tablespoons of whipped cream cheese and I just used my food scale to weigh that out. But that is three points for the cream cheese. So 10 for the bagel and then the eggs are zero. It's just eggs, mushroom, spinach, and a slice of crocus ham for zero. And then I topped it with a little bit of hot sauce. Like I said, a high point breakfast, but I'm gonna 
make it work. If anything, I'll just have a lower point lunch. I've got some chicken in there that I need to use up that's zero points. And so I'll figure something out around that or maybe I'll do tuna or something. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I was gonna make my coffee, but I'm just really hungry and I wanna eat it right now. So I'm gonna eat and then I might make my coffee and get set up upstairs with editing. Okay, so I ended up just talking on my story and making my protein coffee. So this is gonna be three points. This will definitely help to keep me full until lunch and it'll give me some caffeine and energy while I'm working on editing. So I'm gonna go do that and enjoy my protein coffee. All it is is an espresso pod, a scoop of PE Science chocolate collagen, ice cubes, and a Quest salted caramel protein shake. So I've just been finishing up editing my video and I'm done now. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch the final run through. And while I'm watching it, I'm just gonna crochet. I mentioned earlier that I'm crocheting a birthday gift for my mom. So I'm not gonna show it. Although if I'm editing this video and I've already given her the gift, I'll put a picture of what I made right here. So I'll show you guys now, but I'm gonna not show you guys just in case I don't get this video out before I give it to her, if that makes sense. Anyway, when we went outside, I felt so bad because Pluto was trying so hard to run around. He goes nuts in the snow and he's still been limping. So we're just trying to make sure that he doesn't put too much weight on it or isn't running around with it. He isn't in any pain and it pretty much seems like he just has like something sore or something pulled. So we're making sure that he's not in any pain. We've been able to like squeeze it and move it around and everything. He's just kind of like nursing it a little bit. So we don't want him running around, but it was hard to see him out there and want to run around in the snow and he couldn't. But anyway, he's just laying with me now and I'm gonna go ahead and watch this. And then I'm gonna go figure out some lunch. But the protein coffee I had is definitely holding me over and it definitely gave me the caffeine that I needed. So I've just been crocheting and I decided to take a break to make some lunch and I have a bowl here. This entire bowl is actually only four points on Weight Watchers. It's three points for the couscous that I used. It is just one serving of the Trader Joe's couscous. I've got some grilled chicken for zero points, some veggie mix for zero points, which is just pepper, onion, and zucchini that I prepped earlier in the week. I've got some diced cucumber for zero points, and then I've got some tzatziki for one point. It's two tablespoons, and the brand is Boar's Head. So I'm gonna mix this all together. It's gonna be four points and super filling. This is a way to get a good amount of veggies in and some protein as well, and it'll definitely be filling. I also filled up my third water for the day, so I try to drink four of these 32 ounce blender bottles in a day, and this will be my third one. But I'm also gonna make myself a electrolyte drink. So these are the ghost packets. I just get these off Amazon. They're the Sour Patch Blue Raspberry flavor. I love them. I don't know if they're as good as Liquid IV when it comes to like hydrating and electrolytes and stuff, but they just are really flavorful. It's honestly like a sweet treat for me and it also helps me to get more hydrated. So I'm just filling up another blender bottle that's gonna have that and that'll be separate from my water intake for the day. But 
that will be what I have after I finish eating. And then I was debating having a yogurt. I don't know if I'll have that for dessert tonight or if I'll have a Bear Bell. I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. I was trying to decide what I want, but I'll just finish eating this first and see where I'm at. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this bowl for four points. So I ended up crocheting for about an hour. I made some good progress on what I'm working on. And now I'm in the kitchen getting ready for dinner, but also making the cookie cake that I mentioned earlier. We're going to our niece and nephews tomorrow and I want to make them a Mario and Peach themed cookie cake. This is the recipe I use. I will put it in the description below. It's just one that I found online and I've been using for years and it works perfectly for cookie cakes. So I'm going to be baking it today and I'm also going to make the buttercream for it but I don't know if I'll be decorating it. And if that's the case, if I don't get it decorated, once I'm done, I will put a picture in here because when I'm editing this video, I'll have already made the final cake. So I'll put a picture so you guys can see the final product, but I don't think I'll actually be decorating it today. I'll be doing that tomorrow morning. And that is just my plan. I usually like to let the buttercream sit overnight. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started making the cake. Then I'm gonna get some stuff out for dinner and figure out what we're gonna be doing for that. And that's pretty much my plan. Adam's gonna be home soon and we need to shovel, but I think Trevor's gonna go out and shovel the driveway because we got a good amount of snow now. So I'm gonna get started on the cookie cake and then figure out dinner. Okay, for dinner I wanted to do something with the chicken sausage that I got and the asparagus earlier so I made a bacon asparagus cheesy pasta and then I just topped it with the chicken sausage. My dinner is 12 points total. It is 10 for the bacon asparagus pasta. I just made it a recipe and then two for the chicken sausage. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then I'm gonna have my honey crisp apple after. I finished my third water bottle so I'm gonna do one more of these at least and then I don't know what I'm doing for dessert but after that I'm probably gonna get back to crocheting tonight. I've got to get more done on my project and then I'll just be doing the cookie cake in the morning. So like I said I'll insert a picture of it when it's done but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and eat dinner. No. Okay, so dinner turned out really good, and now I'm gonna go ahead and have my dessert. I did have my honey crisp apple after, but right now I'm gonna have a creamy crisp bear bell. So this is five points on Weight Watchers. It is 200 calories and it's got 20 grams of protein, and this is one of my favorite flavors. Although lately I've been on a salty peanut cake, that flavor is really good too. It tastes kind of like a Snickers, and so I've been getting back into having that. Of course, the soft bars have become my favorite as well, but anyway, tonight I'm having the creamy crisp for five points. I already went ahead and tracked it. And that'll probably be the last thing that I eat today just because dinner was actually pretty filling and I'm going to the gym early tomorrow so I'm not going to stay up much later. I ended the day using 35 total points. So I get 31 dailies with maintenance and being six feet tall. So I only used four of my weeklies today which is not a big deal. I haven't used any because today's the first day of my week for Weight Watchers. I felt like I had a good day of eating and I was really happy with how dinner turned out. That's going to be one of my cookbook recipes and Adam was actually, he couldn't stop saying how much he liked it. So I might tweak a couple things, but I was happy with that and it was really good. And now I'm going to go ahead and crochet pretty much until I go to bed. I've got Pluto here with me. Maggie's over sleeping in her bed and I went ahead and put the gate up just so that Pluto can't go down the stairs because he still has his limp, but he still isn't in any pain or anything. So it seems like it gets better when he rests. This morning it really wasn't as bad, but it seems like it's gotten a little bit worse throughout the day I think just from him using it so again we're gonna keep an eye on it it's really nice because Trevor's mom is actually a vet so she's able to kind of give us some advice and help us so she's been in the loop and she knows what's going on and she'll let us know if we need to go get him checked out but so far he just seems fine but here he is you good Pluto <laughs> so he's gonna hang out with me while I crochet and then I'll probably start getting ready for bed
so that wraps up my video for today i hope you guys enjoyed coming along throughout my day and just seeing what i do on a day where i don't really have a plan but i had some stuff to get done and i don't know wasn't too eventful but i hope you guys enjoyed seeing how i eat how i handle maintenance and just how i balance my day out but if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time